think this is uh, I think this is it. Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. And we're on our quest for England. We're out in the countryside having a nice country walk. You're right, Julia. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a blowy day today, although where we are, we're quite sheltered. Yeah, yeah, it's quite still. So we're doing another stretch of the South Downs Way. And it's only a little stretch. It's not a continuation of any other bits that we've done. We're just coming out really to make the best of the weather, seeing as we've suddenly had a, a sunny day after all this rain that we've had. And we've parked up in Pycombe by the church. Yes. We, um, there's a lovely little um, restaurant there. Um, yes. What's um, it called? Oh, The Plough. The Plough. <laughs> we've, we've been to that restaurant and pub before, haven't we? We've had a yeah. nice time there. Yeah, it was lovely. And in order to get to the start of where we're going, we've crossed the main A23, and which is the sort of London to Brighton Road, followed the signs to the South Downs Way, and here we are at the very first bit. Now, we've got little Joseph, as you can see, in the buggy. Snoozing happily, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to try and get to Saddlescombe, uh, which is a, a, a little village at the foot of the North Slopes. How far we get, don't know, because oh, that's the wind coming up and the, the cloud is a bit ominous. It may rain, it may not. So. I thought I felt moisture on the air then. I think it was just my imagination. And you didn't bring a jumper underneath your coat? No. no. And this coat isn't waterproof and neither is that one. No. <laughs> so we're going to do our best. So um, the path goes uphill. It Ready? does. Ready? I Mark. suppose. Let's go. <laughs> After you. Well, that was a bit of a hill, wasn't it, Julia? That was a, a little bit of a <sighs> hill. <laughs> it's a lovely path that winds, well, it's not doesn't wind, it just comes up. It meanders gently upwards, but gets, quite a strong, gentle. Yes, gets the old lungs going. Joseph's <laughs> all right, aren't you, in there? And we're at, uh, what does it say on that sign? New Timber Hill, oh. which is um, part of the National Trust. Now, I must just thank Mike Dixon, um, who's very kindly bought us a joint membership for the year. That's ever so kind. Thank so you. If there was a car park here run by the National Trust, we could have parked our car for free. Yeah. Just waiting for the handbook and waiting for our membership cards to come through. So that's all very exciting. But here we are looking, well, behind us south. What about this view, Julia? Oh, it's rather lovely, isn't it? Beautiful contours. And you can imagine, before the intensive farming was yeah. here with this great big field... Oh, this is proper rolling English hills, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Beautiful um, chalky hills and a, a lovely valley behind. And all around, actually, we start to get swallowed up in the classic um, South Downs yeah. that um, Edward Thomas loved and wrote about so much. And now, if you look to your left, Julia, Sheeps. Yes, <laughs> lovely sheep. That's a sheep. Very colourful sheep. We're going to be walking through those in a mow. I bet they don't slip up and down that hill like the horses have. No, <laughs> yeah. uh, we've had so much rain, but it's dried out a bit, but there's still muddy patches. It's still cloyy, isn't it? And this has done really well. It has. This it has, has been has. another bit of a test on the South Downs Way. Mm. Right, are you ready for the next hill? <sighs> yes. After you then. Off we trot. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to push it at any time. Okay. I don't think the sheep want to see us. No, you get a bit nervous, that one. <laughs> but quite bold, he was trying to face us up, wasn't it? Yeah, he did. He came out and um, looked at us, and I thought he might actually come over. I wasn't sure if it was going like, to try and charge and scare us off. Yeah. Right. Never mind. We've got a bit of a steep climb here, Julia. Are you all right with the uh, yeah. buggy? For now. <laughs> <laughs> For now, she says. Yeah. I was just trying to work out if that was ancient um, farming techniques we can see on that hill or whether it's just funny growth hedge. Oh yeah, see what you mean. Over here, let me just see if I can show you what Julia means. On that hillside, it's where it's sort of layered. So difficult to tell these days, unless you're a professional, you've got a trained eye. I'm not too sure, Julia. 
No. I was going to try and get a picture, but it's not as good on my camera. If you look behind you, though. Oh, yes. Two recognised icons on the hilltop. That's Jack and Jill, isn't it? Jack and Jill windmills. Yay. Yes, above Clayton. We're on the opposite side. Um, we can just down there, P Pycombe. And then uh, up this other hill and down, we'll be in Siddlesham. That's quite amazing. As the as, as the, the shadows come over the, the Jill windmill, yeah. the sails seem to disappear. And then oh, as the they? sun comes out again, you can see them again because of the, the light upon them. It's just weird, but life, nice. You're not pushing the, tr the uh, buggy, are you? Have Get back to work, come on. <laughs> got this hill to climb. All right, all right. I'm such an evil boss. <laughs> As you can see, we've taken shelter on the flimsiest tree. <laughs> There's another one that's just as flimsy behind us. What fools! <laughs> it is blowing. What is it's it? A hooli. A hooli, <laughs> or a hooey, as I sometimes say. <laughs> what fools we are! Gosh, I can't keep my thing from I blowing don't. about. I keep nearly losing my hat too. So um, it looks like we're not going to go much further. It's not much fun for uh, little Joseph. It, <laughs> the uh, weather forecast said it was going to be lovely and sunny. And that's not wrong. <laughs> that bit's not wrong. However, it's, it is nice to get out and have one's eyes rest on this amazing landscape. It is, it is, it's gorgeous. And With I, I think I can now spot Oldland Mill. Yes, you may remember we visited Oldland Mill, which was near Kima, um, just below Clayton. I'm waiting for my camera to fall over because the wind is, it's already blown. The buggy over. The buggy over. It's, it's, Baby out, buggy down. That's it. The steep hill that we have climbed, we have to climb, we have to go down it. I know it's downhill, but we'll have the wind behind us. Blow. Oh my God. It's getting stronger. I think we're going to have to head back. I hate to do famous. that. That makes us look very lame in this. No. But um, poor old sheep though. Look, those sheep stoically eating the grass. Yeah. How do they do that? I don't know. Oh. Anyway, we'll have a five minute rest. I think we'll head back. Why? Well, I think oh. that's blowing the cobwebs a late, a late away at the very least. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. I don't know. We've come down back and we're taking refuge in Pycombe Church, which, I forgot the name of the church. The Shepherd's Church, I know it's got that. Um, and just over there, when I came in before, ages ago, and I did a, I'm sitting in a church video, which was some time ago, um, I noticed that there was a, there's a door here, and you can go in and make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and just make a donation. There's a kettle, there's tea, coffee, and, and what have you. My donation. What a brilliant idea. Yeah. I mean, obviously somebody comes in, tops it all up, and it's a way of adding a bit to the church. It makes you stay in the church. I think it's, you know, absolutely enchanting idea. Yeah. And it's, it's a very beautiful church. You can make donations um, on the thing. What's yeah, the it's got a little um, oh, contactless card reader thing <clears throat> over there. You can donate three pounds. Yes. Yeah, contactless like, with your card. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And, okay. golly, nice to be out of the wind. Oh, it sure is, isn't it, Jojo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, shall we make some tea? Yes, please, let's. Yes. I was a bit miffed at first, because there's no kettle. And then I realised there's a tap here that dispense, dispenses boiling water. 
So this is absolutely just fantastic. Especially if you've been walking and on the South Downs Way, the path goes past the church. So you can imagine many, many people will come and utilize this wonderful service. So uh, uh, that's really, that's really great. I just wish more churches were able to do it. I guess you've got to be on a route that makes, uh, makes sense. So turn it says and pause. Oh, well, it may not have been a, a brilliant walk. That one's yours. Where should I put it? Oh, I? Here, in my hand. Are you sure it's hot? May not have been uh, the most prolific walk, as we just said. Um, but this is a, this is just a little bonus. I'm really taken with the idea of en route. Just help yourself. You know, a lot of trust. You could come in and abuse the service, of course, but people probably don't, do they? It's a beautiful kitchen. Yeah, had a little look at some of the messages in the guest book in there, and uh, there's a lot of grateful people who've been popping in, that's yeah. for sure. And we're grateful too, because it's just hailstoned out there. It did. We got in the church, and it's been our, our saviour, and um, I think that's a terrific role for a lot of churches. They could certainly take heed from this. Okay, you need some volunteers to run it, but you know, all that sort of good um, thought and good good intention, good intention, sharing around the community. I think that's you know that's something that being English and Englishness should excel at. So maybe we found our little bit of England in today's video after all. Yeah, I think so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, all the usual things. Oh, there's a bit of sunshine coming through. Blimey, that's nice and bright. Um, become a patron, support what we do. It'd be wonderful. But in the meantime, we're gonna enjoy our cup of tea. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Till next time, bye-bye. Bye. Hello, do you want some? <laughs> bit warm for you. <laughs>